His company is behind some of the biggest projects in South Florida, including recently Formula One. Earlier this month, I had the chance to speak with Chad Moss about how they were able to pull that off, plus his philanthropic efforts supporting his alma mater, FIU. Here's our conversation. Chad, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for being here. We're on these, in these beautiful offices here on Las Olas Boulevard, and this is part of your family business, which is construction, and you've been involved with some pretty high-profile projects from FLL to the port to Marlin Stadium, and most recently the F1 lanes, sure. which was a huge success, and I think they have another contract for the next nine years. Tell us how that came about, how you became involved with that. Sure, we, uh, we've we been on the uh, Dolphins campus now for a, a number of years uh, with doing the tennis facility and rolling right into the Dolphins training facility. And then now the F1 track uh, as we just completed that um, in what I consider a record pace of, of 10 months. And uh, you know, I gotta give it credit uh, to Steve Ross who had the vision uh, to, to make that happen. Logistically, how do you make something like that happen in 10 months, as you mentioned, which was so quick? Excellent planning, great teamwork. Our, I'm super proud of our team out on the job site um, with what they were able to get done in that amount of time with all the world's logistical problems uh, happening at the same time and, and supply chain issues. So to pull that off, uh, you know, basically post-COVID with supply chain issues and all that uh, was, was uh, you know, nothing short of miraculous. Is there something that you guys specialize in sports? Because, I mean, you're talking about Marlin Stadium and Inter-Miami yeah. and now F1. Sports is part of our, uh, you know, blend of projects we do. Uh, you know, I think it's important for our company to stand out and be very diverse in product type and location. So uh, we do many different types of things. A lot of it's multifamily. About 60% of what we do on the commercial side is multifamilies. Anything from student housing, we completed an excellent job just for FIU. I think it's our sixth job at FIU for a student housing that's, in my opinion, world class. Um, anybody would be proud to live there, all the way to high-end luxury, luxury condominiums, and then you have market rate in between and, and all that. Uh, so, you know, it's important for us to be diverse. You know, we've done airport work, seaport work. Uh, I think we've been now at Port Everglades now for 18 years uh, straight since we started the company. And, um, uh, you know, super proud of what we've done. You know, in the last seven, eight years, we've bolted on a solar division. And the solar division program is, is outpacing now with the commercial construction. The family gave a significant gift to FIU, which is game changing. Why the connection to FIU and why did you as a family decide to give that donation? I'm a proud alum of FIU. I've served on the board now for, for almost 10 years on their foundation board. We hire a lot from FIU. So we roughly have 70 to 80 uh, alums from FIU working in our construction company. So um, we're super proud and supportive of the FIU program and mission. And uh, us putting our name on the Moss School of Construction was uh, just another step in solidifying our relationship and, and, and representing the importance of, of that relationship. What is the significance of a gift like that to the university? Uh, you know, I, I think they call it the largest alumni gift um, that they've received, and I'm super proud to be a part of that. Um, I, I love what FIU stands for and what they do in the community and and how many people they help get employed uh, year over year, uh, not just South Florida, but in the United States. With great success comes great responsibility. And this company, this organization, this family-owned business has been one of the top in giving back to the community. Why has it been important for you to do that? The family feels um, that the most important ingredient of su success is to give back. So we try to give back as much as we can in areas where we work, where we have offices, where we do projects. Uh, we feel that's really important. One of those organizations handy? Correct. Why did you decide to give to that one in particular? Um, love their mission, you know. I think what they do and help out and do for folks that, you know, didn't necessarily have a lot of choices to make in their lives as often as they are foster children. Um, we're here to lend them a, a helping hand up, and I think it's really important. We now have uh, a few handy alums that work at Moss and Associates as project managers and accountants and such, and um, 
I'm super proud of what we've done with them. How fulfilling is that for you? It's great. It's, it's full circle when you're able to, uh, you know, be a part of someone's life and, and help them out. And, you know, it, uh, it, you know, I get a little emotional when I think about it because it's, it's so exciting. And then, and, you know, if you're, you know, mentoring them and four or five years later, they're, you know, asking you for a job um, and they're worthy of doing the job and you watch them graduate college and all that. Super cool. It seems as if this community is a lot better because you're in it and you're not even from here originally. You're from Charlotte. Yes. What brought you here to South Florida? Uh, my dad's uh, opportunities in business brought him here. Um, I was super excited about moving here from Nashville. Love Nashville, but I, I like the, the boating and the fishing uh, a lot. I, I, I do it just about you know every weekend. And so um, I was really excited about that, being a, a teenager moving to Fort Lauderdale. And, uh, you know, it's been, been um, a super exciting move for the family. Let's talk about crypto. Sure. Because there are a lot of people, including mayors, that are trying to make South Florida the crypto capital of the world. And many are succeeding in trying to make that happen. And you have also delved into that world. Tell us why you thought that that was significant for you to be a part of. You know, when you look at what family offices do from, from an investment standpoint, now what has made that pie, that part of that pie chart, you have real estate, you have uh, you know, uh, basic uh, New York Stock Exchange investments, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a variety of things, right? That one piece that, that's, that's jumped into that is the crypto. So a lot of people will say you need to have anywhere from one to 5% of your net worth or your family's worth in cryptocurrency. So we, we looked at the opportunity with Brent as a way to diversify our portfolio a little bit. And what do you see as the future of that? You know, I, I see it being somewhat of an ultimate backstop for true value. There's only going to be so much cryptocurrency and so much coin. And you're going to see um, a lot of people using it and trading with it. Uh, it's not just an investment. People are now buying stuff with it. So it. We, we see it's coming. I think that, you know, the horse has already left the barn, so to speak, and, and you're not going to see us revert back uh, against that. Now, it's going to swing up and down with, with markets as they do. And do you think that the goal of making this the crypto capital will become a reality? I, I don't think it, it's, it's a goal anymore. I think it's happening, and I'm, I'm, I'm happy for it. As, as a business person, I, I, I want to see this kind of progress happened for, for South Florida, and I love it. And we love having you in this community. Thank you. Thank you so much, Chad. Thank you very much for being here. Appreciate it.